Update 4 for Forza Motorsport has just been announced. Let's talk about it. This is everything you need to know about Update 4 for Forza Motorsport. Now, the update releases on January the 16th, so that is just next week, just a few days to wait. That is when you'll be able to download this update to your console or to your PC. Forza Motorsport Update 4 introduces prestigious Daytona International Speedway. That is the track for this month. A truly iconic racetrack renowned for its marvels and engineering. Meanwhile, a new Italian Challenger featured tour invites you to build four staples of Italy's automotive heritage. Let's dive into the details. All the events, the career, the rivals, all that kind of jazz will begin on January the 18th, the Thursday, the usual day that the Forza things start and roll over. It does say that this update's focused a little bit more on new content and events, and it contains only minor fixes compared to our previous updates. My video a couple of days ago talking about the latest community update, as I said, we can expect the changes on them tockets like the car progression system, changes are coming to that. That's going to be another couple of updates away. So as I said, the new track that's coming is Daytona. I will have some screenshots of the track on screen right now. The assets in this video may be quite lacking, unfortunately, this month, but nevertheless, I still have all the information for you. The track itself has two layouts and Daytona will be integrated along with Hockenheim and Yas Marina into certain existing Builders Cup series once the update is out. So you will be able to play this within Builders Cup. Other nerdy information about the track can be seen here. Now let's get on to the new cars. I believe there are 10 new cars in this update, I think. Unfortunately, I use the word new slightly lightly here. The four new Spotlight cars, these are cars that are available in the showroom for 30% discount. The 1992 Lancia Delta HF Integrale Evo, that is the first week, so January the 18th to the 24th. The week after that, 2017 Abart 124 Spider. 2017 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio is the week after that. And the final week, which is the mid, mid, middle of February, 2007 Ferrari 430 Scuderia. Quite like that car. Those are the four new Spotlight cars. Now, Forza Motorsport VIP members will also get an exclusive 15% discount on the 1988 Lamborghini Countach. This is not a new car, it's just a discount. So those are the four cars to expect in the spotlight. We have car pass cars as well though. Again, starting on the 18th of January, the first car will be the 2019 McLaren Senna GTR, the 2019 Ferrari Competizione 488 GTE, the 2022 Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro, that's an awesome car, and the 2018 Cadillac TA CTSV. So if you have the car pass, you will literally get given these cars for free every week. If you don't have a car pass, you won't get given it. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe if this video is helpful so far, guys. We cover news on Forza Horizon 5 and Forza Motorsport. Now, I'm going to talk a bit more on the car pass after I've finished all the update information because the car pass has actually slightly changed from the leaks we had. So it might be a little bit different. We'll touch on that later. So that's eight new cars in total, the spotlight ones and the car pass ones. Now, there are two more new cars that are sort of interwined with the new series. New career series, Italian Challengers. It starts with all-wheel drive cars where Lancia stands ready to take on its historic adversaries on the track as you race iconic rally machines. And then you'll get behind the wheel of the Abarth 124 Spider and battle the iconic Mazda MX-5. You can see the rest here. Now, if you complete all four series, you can unlock the ninth new car, the 2010 Lamborghini Murcielago LP 670-4 SV. That's the ninth new car. There's one more to go. Let's talk about that now. It's in the other new career series, Classic Open Class. With each update for Forza Motorsport, the Open Tour gets refreshed with new events and a new reward car. In update four, this Open Tour is all about racing the classics. Build your favorite cars and bring them to the track to race models of automotive history. So it's all about classic history this month. If you complete all of them, you will get the 10th new car, the 1965 Alfa Romeo Giulia Sprint GTA Stradale. That is the 10th and final new car of this month. So if you're here for the new cars, you can click off the video now, or you can wait and see the leaks that I'm gonna talk about in a couple of minutes. New featured multiplayer, obviously. We can see the new featured multiplayer calendar here. Now I don't do much multiplayer on this channel, as you'll see, but if you are a multiplayer guy, here's all the, the specs everything you need to know about the new featured multiplayer series. Obviously, they are all kind of done in the new spotlight cars that you can get at the auto show for 30% discount. 
a bit more of a detailed look at all of the series' on screen now. Hope that helps. Now we have new rivals as usual. You can look out for a special new event featuring the classic 1990 Mercury Whistler Radar Cougar XR7. What a car name that is at Daytona. Now there's a slight partnership with Logitech here. You can sign up at Discord slash Logitech G to qualify for prizes and including a chance to win a VIP racing experience with McLaren. Once you've registered over there, set your fastest laps at Grand Oak National Circuit in the P1 GTR and the top drivers per region advance to the semi-finals next month. So there are all of the Rivals events there. There's an exclusive VIP one, an exclusive new track one, the four spotlight ones, but also the Logitech sort of competition one, which is in the middle. So make sure to get on that. That is available for the full month, January to February, as you can see there. So that's the full update, guys. That is everything within update four. Now, as I said about the car pass, there was the full car pass list, at least we thought, was leaked a couple of months ago. We got all of these things added to the database on Steam, and they're all new cars. Now, if we ordered these by date, we can see on screen that these were the predicted dates for each car. Now, up until now, it was actually spot on. However, if we have a look at the four cars for this month, we've got the McLaren Senna GTR, the Ferrari, and the Aston Martin Valkyrie are all correct. However, the car that's coming out on February the 8th is not not the Lotus, it is the Cadillac TA CTSV. So the car that we predicted was April the 4th is actually now February the 8th. So it kind of makes me question what the rest of this list is like. Is all of this going to be accurate or is it going to be slightly out again? I think we're going to have to say probably. So let's not follow this list too much anymore. The cars are probably correct, but not necessarily the order of them are correct. But again, this update has just solidified it even more that all of these cars are probably coming at some point. And I cannot wait to get my hands on this beauty. So update four is looking like an okay one. Some may say the cars are lacking. They're not necessarily new to Forza, but what can we do? I'm sure we'll get some more soon. While there wasn't a ton of bugs and fixes, as we said at the beginning, we can expect more to come from update five, especially all of the things we spoke about in my last video a couple of days ago the car progression system the ai and the Forza race regulations big changes are coming to all of them but not in this update let's hope that this update and especially the future updates where we could potentially see these big changes that i've been on about let's hope it brings back more players to Forza motorsport as the player count's been struggling a little bit lately as we have previously discussed this is the latest steam player count chart it's very lacking i know it's only steam but it is still quite relative when you compare it to Forza Horizon 5, for example. I don't think Forza Motorsport's in a bad place right now, but I am not personally playing it that much. But that isn't really because of any of the big issues it's having. It's just down to personal preference. Forza Motorsport is not really my type of game. I do hope that Forza Motorsport does get a big flow of players coming back. Please let me know in the comment section below if you will be one of them if the game starts to improve in areas that you're not happy with. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone, and I'll see you all later.